Some of his descendants still walk amongst us, and his understanding lives on, albeit semi-consciously, in their ancestral memory. This place is his temple, and is said to have once been his palace. And then I found myself in a room building with no doors or windows. No true temple. Only a stairway for his memory, leading to the rooms above and his below. Is long forgotten. I proceeded downstairs and came into a room totally bedecked with vintage 50s furnishings. It too had neither doors or windows. I again proceeded downstairs and then entered into a room decorated in the style of the early 1900s. It appeared that for every floor I descended, I was also descending back at the time. As I continued downward, it seemed my hypothesis was correct. In proceeding, I passed through every historical epoch, medieval times, ancient Rome, Phoenician, Samaria. At length, I came to a room that was empty, scorched, and altogether desolate. It looked like the end of a line, yet still the stairs led further downward. And descending, I entered into a vast cavern, very dark, and yet illuminated by an eerie glow. My path had come to an end, seemingly deep inside the earth. Before me was what appeared to be a tomb, constructed from large carved slabs of luminescent rock. The tomb was modeled after the temple I'd seen in Doug. Was this the grave of the Forgotten Father? The final resting place of the mysterious patriarch who'd vanished at the dawn of time? Turning, I retraced my steps and went back upwards, anxious to see if the upper floors in fact went into future times. And indeed they did. I passed through level after level of strange, wondrous things, coming finally to a large room, empty, but filled with fog. Pausing but briefly, I forged ahead and found myself back in the depths of the earth, standing before the same glowing tomb. I turned to leave, but stopped short. The stairs I just climbed were no more.